Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for a what is in my diaper bag slash diaper bag review. So let's hop on into today's video. Okay you guys, I am over the moon excited to share this bag with you. This style of bag has been very popular recently and I've got to tell you, I wanted to hop on the train. This thing looked amazing. It's huge. It's backpack style, but you can also carry it by the handle up here and there are straps for crossbody. Just like literally the most amazing bag. I don't know what I have been missing out on. I am new to the diaper bag world. So I am not new to the mom game. I have a three and a half year old and I have a one month old. I've never been like a huge diaper bag user. I always go back to like one of my larger Kate Spade purses or just like a larger bag or backpack that I have on hand. Love you. So anyways, um, this is my first like official diaper bag. I had one that came with my breast pump and that is what I brought with me to the hospital. But it was just kind of like a cheapy diaper bag. The straps were really like plasticky feeling. Very cute looking. I mean, the colors were great, but it was not great quality. Anyways, when I saw the Fawn Design diaper bags, I fell in love. So me trying to save a little bit of money, I started to do my research and I came across this bag. And this is the Miss Fong um diaper bag and i found it on amazon this was a little tag that was attached to it when it came the reviews on amazon are amazing because you guys this bag is amazing the quality of this bag i first received it the quality of the bag it's like very soft and buttery feeling um i would not consider this a cheap looking bag whatsoever um it looks very expensive all of the zippers have little details with Miss Fong on the side, and it's like very heavy, like metal. It's not plasticky, chintzy metal. The zippers are nice. There's so many compartments, and like I mentioned, there's just so many different ways that you can wear this bag or carry this bag. I know I'm gonna get this comment. I'm from Minnesota, you guys, and I have a weird accent. I understand that. Uh, <laughs> I got so many comments on the way I say bag, bag whatever, um, in my hospital bag video. So I apologize for the accent. I'm going to start in the back of the diaper bag. Now I do have it set up to be a backpack, which you guys, this, the straps are also super great quality. Um, it feels like seatbelt material to me. I'm just thoroughly impressed with the quality in general. So anyways, <laughs> moving on from the quality, obviously I love the bag. In the back there's a little magnetic um, snap and in here today, I realized this is the perfect size for Kaya's mini iPad. Amazing. I stuck her mini iPad here and she has over the ear headphones. So I just stuck the headphones on this strap when I carried it like a backpack, fit in there perfectly. Um, I also keep a puzzle in here just in case we uh, last minute decide we're gonna go out to eat. I have something in here to occupy Kaya because she has the attention span of a goldfish. I feel like she's just a very busy girl and she loves puzzles. Again, I have a three and a half year old and a one month old. So this is what I keep in my diaper bag for both of them. The Kaya doesn't require a whole lot of things in here. Um, I just have some uh, more or less like snacks and activities for her. All right, so moving to the front of this bag, it is huge. There is each pocket is a real pocket and has a zipper as well so many compartments i don't even know what to do with them now i don't have anything in these pockets in the front right now i like to keep these pockets open so i can stick my cell phone in here i like to keep um chapstick in here and like ponytails scrunchies just miscellaneous odds and ends um, that i want to have easily accessible um, but especially my cell phone. I love to have my cell phone right in this pocket. So opening up this bag, um, it is very spacey and has so many compartments. Before I show you guys all the compartments on the inside, um, I'm just gonna kind of clear it out a little bit and show you what I keep in here. So right now it is really cold where I live in Minnesota and it is not quite springtime weather. Once it does start to warm up a little bit, 
I will start to wear um, my one month old a little bit more. Um, so I do have this for the Solly baby wrap. I absolutely love this thing. I wear it around the house all the time with him. He is very much so a mama's boy and likes to be close to me and um, he absolutely loves the wrap. When he's getting fussy around the house, I'll just, I'll just throw this wrap on um, and he is good to go. To me, it was a little intimidating at first putting this wrap on, but after I did it, I would say probably like three or four times, I finally caught on to it and I feel much more comfortable now. So this is what I would keep in here on top if it were warm outside. Uh, but right now it is not. So I've actually just been keeping this at home. All right, jumping into the middle section, just the open middle section. Um, I've got some like miscellaneous things in here. So I have like a, a little uh, beanie for him just in case it's really cold outside. Most of the time he's really comfy and cozy in his car seat and we've got like a cozy cover for it and he stays nice and warm. Sometimes he'll even like get really sweaty. So um, I don't like to put a hat on him unless it's like negative degrees outside. Yes, it gets like negative 20, 30 here. So that's what the hat's for. I keep my nursing cover in the main section as well. Um, this was a nursing cover that my sister got me. I showed you guys this cover in several of my haul videos. It is great. It's like a five in one. So it's also a car seat cover. So once it gets a little bit warmer outside and, and I can take and I can take the cozy cover off of the car seat, um, I can put one of these on because it's like I said, it's just a little bit more lightweight in the main compartment. I also have a backup pair of pants for Kaya because yes, she's potty trained, but every once in a while we still have an accident. I have a swaddle for my son, uh, for my one month old, just in case we happen to be at a family member's house and he wants to take a nap. He does nap the best in a swaddle. So definitely nice to have one of these on hand. And then I just have an extra outfit for him here as well. Just a little onesie and then some pants to match. Now in the bottom of the bag, I also left um, all of the extra straps that the bag came with. As you guys can see, backpack straps and they have these additional straps. I believe this one is the crossbody strap and I'm not quite sure what this strap is for, but you definitely have several, several options of wearing this bag. On the inside of the bag, before I show you guys what it looks like, um, I also do have <laughs> a grocery list. <laughs> I also do have um, my keys and then um, a little diaper chini thing with the diaper bags, just in case I have to change a bum really quick when we're in the vehicle and there's not a garbage can nearby. Um, that's what this is for. And yeah, it's just really nice because my car is like a push to start vehicle and I don't necessarily need to have my keys on me when I start it, but it is nice. Um, so I can just kind of fish it out if I need to pull off my house key or something like that. So that is attached to the inside of the bag. Now I'm going to show you guys the inside. I hope you guys can see that. So as you can see, there are um, pockets lining all on the inside. So all along in here, pockets, and then there's a zipper pocket in the front. So there's a couple, several compartments in the back and um, there's like netted, um, netted compartments. On the sides of this bag on the inside, there is um, insulated pockets. So there's an insulated pocket here and an insulated pocket on this side as well. What I love about the double insulated pockets is whether we're going on a longer road trip and I maybe want to put um, a sippy cup for my daughter in here to keep it cool and then put some freshly expressed breast milk in here um, for my son. I just love that it has two insulated pockets um, instead of just one so I can take more with me, um, either for myself and my son, myself and my daughter, or my daughter and my son. Okay, so going through these pockets, there, this pocket in the very back, this I would consider to be like uh, my diaper changing section. The bag did come with a diaper changer. I did just purchase one from Target, but I honestly like this one more. I like that it's simple and that the diapers don't roll up inside of it and it doesn't get all big and bulky. Um, just a very simple, um, it's a little bit padded too, so it's nice and comfy for baby. If I know how to fold this thing back up. 
And then this is the, okay, so Munchkin is the brand of diaper changer that I had purchased from Target. I just stole the wipe container out of it and stuck it in this bag. So my daughter is potty trained, but to go along with the extra pair of pants, I do have a pull up. Um, just in case, because typically if she's gonna have an accident, it's gonna be when we're on a longer road trip or something like that. So it is just nice to have a pull up um, as extra precaution. And then I do have a couple diapers here as well. So um, this is just like a sample that we received, but we are definitely pro huggies. And so I will typically have like about four or five diapers in here at all times. Not that we would necessarily go through four or five diapers in an outing, but I just don't like to refill this thing that often. And I also forget to refill it. So I just like to have more than a couple diapers in here typically at one time. Um, I did, again, I did just get back from Costco. So that is the reason why it's not completely filled up. Um, also in this back section, this big back, this big box, back box, this big back pocket section, um, I have a couple of um, samples of wipes that we were sent. Um, again, we typically use the Huggies Natural wipes, but these are samples that we were sent and they're easy just to throw in the diaper bag. And then I have a burp cloth. Now my son really isn't that spitty. Um, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't spit up a ton, but just in case I have a burp cloth in here. All right, so hooked onto here as well, I have a pacifier, um, just because then it's easier for me to find and I don't need to go digging around inside of this huge bag. All right, so now I'm kind of just getting into these like side pockets. I'm not gonna like explain what's in each one. I'm just gonna go through like what I keep in here in general. So I have a mom pocket in here that I use like specifically for my stuff. So I have a checkbook in here for any um, preschool payments that I need to make along with a pen. And then I also have my wallet, which is a Kate Spade wallet, but it just happens to match it perfectly. And then I have a little bit of um, nipple cream and some Burt's Bees chapstick. So that is my mom pocket. And then um, I would call this like my sanitizing pocket. I have Honest Company hand sanitizer spray in lavender. Comes in grapefruit as well, but you guys, it honestly smells like um, BO to me, like body odor. It smells really terrible to me. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like that scent. And then I have some pacifier wipes in here as well and an extra passy. Oh, I guess I have an applesauce packet in there too for my daughter, Kaya. She loves these and um, these are really easy just to toss in here really quick just because she gets hungry all the time. That's the way my daughter pronounces hungry right now. It's so cute. <laughs> she tells me all the time, mama, I'm hungry. So when I have snacks like this inside of the diaper bag, it is easy to keep her happy when we're out in public. In this next pocket, you guys, I've got sockies and baby middies. So um, for the first month or so, you're not supposed to cut baby's nails. You're not supposed to trim them. Um, and they're so flimsy. So I just, I get so nervous with baby nails. This is my second baby and they still make me just as nervous. So we do have the middies with us at all times, just in case. I typically don't have them on him. Um, but if I notice he's really scratching himself up, I will put them on him. But like I said, it's really not. Often. Well, moving on to my last pocket, I have this is kind of like uh, like my miscellaneous pocket. I have a card for my the card for my hair appointment next, <laughs> um, and then I have a draft pen. I do have a draft pen, which honestly, you guys, I don't really use that often, but. Um, it was in the baby diaper bag section at Target and Target was whispering its sweet nothings to me and apparently I thought I needed it. So um, will I use this? I don't know, but um, it is nice to have it in here just in case. It is nice to know that I have this on hand at least just in case I happen to spill on myself because that is bound to happen at some point or another because I am so clumsy, you guys. <laughs> I also have a bandana bib. These are really big on him right now, on my one month old, but um, they, but they're very cute. And I have one in here for just in case. Okay, so my last item that I have in here is a PPTP. Honestly, guys, these are kind of a waste of money. I have not used these at all yet, but the idea is, um, is nice. So anyway, so I've got one of these in here too. All right, you guys, that is 
the bag. That is my diaper bag in all of its glory. Um, I hope you guys um, got some use out of what I put in my bag. And I hope at least some of you guys get as excited as I did um, about the Fawn Design knockoff that I found on Amazon. I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys haven't already, I would love if you join my little family here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of mom style content right now because I just had a baby four weeks ago, one month ago as of tomorrow, which is insanity. I cannot believe that. I'm enjoying making all of these really fun mommy videos and informing you guys um, of just what I do in my daily life with a toddler and a newborn, with the products I use. And I'm going to start hopping into more of like my mom videos or just like style videos for myself. Um, I've got a clothing haul coming up for you guys here pretty soon. And I am going to be jumping into my postpartum weight loss series as well, very, very soon. And I'm excited to share that with you guys. The bag is getting heavy AF. Woo, guns. <laughs> Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you like this kind of video on my channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite diaper bags are. And if you have any video suggestions for the future, I've got a lot of really fun ones coming up in the very near future. And I can't wait to share those with you guys. Well, I'm gonna bust out of here. I'm gonna feed the baby. I will see you guys on Sunday for a one month postpartum and one month baby update. Okay, bye you guys. Myself. What a wonderful world.